Welcome back. Well, now we focus on the World Economic Forum. We're joined now by Frank Wenke, who is the head of secretariat of the World Economic Forum Africa. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you, guys. It's good to see you. Yeah, you. looking at this matter, I mean, signs of concerns there, aren't they? And what do we do? How are we approaching this? In terms of what? In terms of uh, the incident in Yanya, and uh, perhaps it may raise questions about uh, what do we do in terms of curbing that? Is it going to affect this uh, forum? First of all, very tragic, very, very tragic uh, occurrence yesterday. And I would like to start by uh, paying my uh, condolences to the families of those who lost their lives in that blast. Um, you know, but then coming back to your question, I would like to say that, yes, we're going to host an event, but um, the safety of lives and property of Nigerians who are resident here is just as important as the safety of lives and property of our guests at the forum. And I listened to the president yesterday. We've been working on the preparations for the summit for over a year. And I have no doubt in my mind whatsoever that government will continue to do everything possible to protect the lives of Nigerians and our guests and everyone within the boundaries of Nigeria. Um, very, very robust plans um, are in place uh, to ensure that business is carried on within our boundaries um, without a uh, hitch. Um, but more importantly, that the World Economic Forum uh, taking place in May proceeds without um, any uh, problems. And what's the importance of hosting this uh, uh, forum here in the country? Well, the, it, it's an extremely, first of all, you must understand the structure of the World Economic Forum. I mean, um, they've been there for 45 years and their motto says that they are committed to improving the state of the world. And so that every year in the last 45 years, global leaders have gathered in Davos, Switzerland to discuss contemporary issues of global governance, of, you know, economic issues, social issues, political issues. And um, during that time, they have also created what we call the regional fora, okay? And so you have the World Economic Forum for Africa, you have the World Economic Forum for China, and then the Middle East and the rest of them. And it's significant for us that for the first time in 25 years of the regional uh, forum, that the event is coming to West Africa. But more importantly, it's coming to Nigeria. And so it provides us opportunity for cultural diplomacy, for economic diplomacy. It's almost you know, um, a very, very um, important opportunity to tell our story on our own terms, literally speaking. So you have the global business community who will converge in your country and who will um, have opportunity to interact with the locals and other people from around the country to see things for themselves and therefore create deals, okay, um, really see what the country is about. Now you're talking about the locals. Uh, I think uh, the question that pops up in cases like this will be how does this affect the uh, average Nigerian on the street? Well, you know, you look at it in terms of, okay, um, that the, the whole concept of development and who is responsible, who is not responsible. And I believe that the whole issue of development is a collective responsibility. Uh, government has its role to play. But um, in a democracy like ours and in a market-driven economy like ours, the private sector has the greater role to play as far as I'm concerned in uh, economic development, in uh, <coughs> job creation in particular. And so that if people have opportunity to make deals and create global partnerships and therefore expand their investments and expand their businesses, it creates opportunity for the uh, reinforcement of existing infrastructure or creating an existing infrastructure where it's not available or expanding existing infrastructure where it's already available, but also for, um, to, to, to expand the scope of your business and therefore create uh, job, uh, jobs for the teaming pop uh, population of Nigeria. How convinced do you think that you know our guests and even potential investors would be considering, well, yes, we have a positive story, a uh, recently rebased GDP, and then, but we still have our challenges as well, something as blatant and as obvious as security. I mean, especially exemplified with this yang yang happening so close to the venue. Well, it's not, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's a very important question that you raise, but then um, the issue is that this is not peculiar all right, it's not peculiar to us. And um, the challenges that confront Nigeria constitute the opportunities that these investors are looking for as well. 
Mm -hmm. All right? Uh, security is key. I agree with you. And um, I have no reason to believe, for instance, that um, government is not, um, uh, government is throwing up its arms in the air, um, you know, thinking, no, no, there's nothing that can be done. Um, it's important, for instance, that um, we note that in the Abuja area, at least, um, you know, it's been relatively quiet over the last, uh, you know, uh, 15 to 18 months. Mm -hmm. um, it's important that it continues to remain quiet. And I'd like to see the Nyaya incident all as almost isolated, at least within that area. And I say this without prejudice and with the greatest respect for um, uh, the victims in other parts of the country. Um, and my view is that due care must be taken to ensure that insurgencies in different parts of the country, wherever they may be, are arrested and brought to a halt to ensure the safety of lives and property of Nigerians all over the country. That is my view. That is our position. And you definitely do not doubt the sincerity of government in that respect, do you? I have absolutely no reason. And I think that security is the basic responsibility of government. Um, I couldn't think of anything more important than security. Because it's only in an atmosphere of security, you know, law and order, that you can develop. You can, you know, people can do anything. Because so that can actually help drive the theme, which is on uh, inclusive growth and jobs uh, creation. And job creation. But how can this uh, help uh, the foreign direct investment? I mean, you know, you listen, you know, first of all, the, the, the very fact, okay, of the size of our country, mm. okay, the very size of the size of our market, the very size, the very, the, the, the very reason of the challenges that we refer to, the deficits in infrastructure, okay, all of these things are what constitute the opportunities that, you know, okay, investors are looking for. Um, and therefore, I have no doubt whatsoever that the convergence of global business leaders from all over the world in Nigeria, Africa's largest population, is of great significance and constitutes a great opportunity for our country and for our people, for investment and for development.